All right, we're back to creating some really awesome abstract work right here in After Effects because you know you want your work to stand out. You want to have a personal style with your work. So we're going to talk about some really cool abstract ideas with one effect called the echo effect inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. The echo effect is really awesome because it allows you to create repetitions with any animation that you have. So you can really create some creative looks with the echo effect. So without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial and let's get started. And as always, you can download our project files if you want to follow along. And we'll jump over to our tutorial composition. All we have in here is a title and a background element, but we're going to be focused on the title. After you have your title typed out, we got to come here to our character window. And there's this icon called no fill color. Make sure you click on that. And then we'll come here to stroke with icon and I have mine set to six and this will give you a stroke title, which is very important for the echo effect. Now, in order for the echo effect to make sense, we got to have some animation. So we can do any animation we want. Let's turn this into a 3D layer and let's hit R on our keyboard for rotation. And let's come here to the top and control double click the pan behind tool right here. And I'll put the anchor point right in the middle of our title. And then what we're going to do is grab the Y rotation out of keyframe for that. We'll move forward maybe by two seconds and we'll set the Y rotation to one X. So we'll just have this very basic animation. Your animation can be anything. And let's go ahead and grab our title, go to effect time and let's grab echo. So we have this very subtle echo effect here, but we can add a few more copies to this. So you can do like three, you could do a little bit more and you know, you get a really nice unique look with this effect and that's really awesome. You can of course decide to uh, shorten or increase the distance of the echoes by coming up here to echo time. You hold down control on your keyboards so the parameter is not so sensitive. And then we can actually add more echoes into here. So that's really cool. However, you know, this animation does come to an end. I want to keep this looping forever. So to keep this looping forever, what we need to do is all click the stopwatch for Y rotation or any parameter that you used. And we're going to use a loop out, capital O just like that. And simply what we're going to do is just do open parenthesis and close parenthesis like that. I've been using this expression like crazy ever since I found out about it and it's awesome. And now what's going to happen is this simply going to just repeat the animation forever. Now I want to talk about the keyframes here. I want to go ahead and select both these keyframes, hit F9 on my keyboard to make them easy, easy keyframes and go to the graph editor. I'm going to grab the first vertice here and bring this in and grab the last vertice and bring it towards the middle as well until we kind of have like this mountain, if you will. So now the animation will just start up, stop, start up, and stop. And that's a really cool animation to put together. And to show off another use of the echo effect, we can like bring up the scale property instead. And we'll add a keyframe for that. And we'll bring that keyframe forward in time, maybe by like a second and a half. And then we can like scale this up. And then we can decrease the echo time here. So there'll be more distance between each of the copies. You can, of course, lower the decay a little bit, which gives you a very unique look as well. So now, boom, that's a kind of a nice second technique. However, let's kind of apply those same keyframe techniques by hitting F9 and go in the graph editor. So, you know, that is pretty cool. And this time we'll walk with the stopwatch for scale. We'll do the same exact expression, kind of. We'll do a loop out just like that. And we'll do open parenthesis. And this time we'll do quotations and we'll do ping pong. And quotations, close parenthesis, princesses make sure that you copy that exactly how it is so now we have a really cool title animation here that we're pretty much in full control of however we want to use this just be sure to adjust the settings to fit whatever uh, design that you're going for all right in this last echo technique we're going to be able to create this border around the overall composition with a title it's really easy to do this so i have a title here at the top and if i want i can add a few spaces in here and maybe do like a specific icon like a plus symbol or a dash you know, I think that looks pretty cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the rectangle tool and we're just going to draw like a mask around our composition like this. All right. And then we'll come here to mask one and since this none. So we have this rectangle mask around our comp and it's on our title layer. So what we'll do here is we'll open up the text window. We'll come here to path options and we'll set this to mask one. And that's going to fit right on the mask. And I'm going to set this to reverse path and I'll put it on the opposite side of the mask. Then what we can do is we can, you know, I'll click the stopwatch for first margin and we'll type in time asterisk 100, or you can use any speed that you want and you'll have an animation follow along the entire path of, you know, the mask. So then we'll go up to effect and we'll grab the echo effect again. All right, we'll increase the number of echoes and we'll come here to echo time and we'll just kind of go ahead and offset this. And we'll make sure we match this up to where exactly it needs to be. And you might need to lower the number of echoes 
um, and adjust with the echo time in order to match this up. But now we have this border title going around our entire composition forever using the echo effect and a really cool uh, follow the path. So really cool techniques within this tutorial on how to use the echo effect and create some really creative typography right here. To close off this video, I want to give a huge shout out to our After Effects extension template right here inside of After Effects. So this is our motion graphics starter pack extension with all 500 elements in here. And the main goal of this pack is to help you enhance your work with a few clicks of a button. So for example, we can take this project to the next level by taking a look at our motion graphic clusters. And when we find a cluster we want, we click on apply. And within a click of a button, we can add a couple of these cluster motion graphics, just add a little bit more detail to our motion graphics. And it doesn't matter what project we're working on, you can easily go in those compositions and change the colors. We have 161 motion graphics like this that allow you to just bring your compositions to the next level within a few clicks of a button. And we take a look at some of our regular titles as well, but we have something called accent titles, which have these accent motion graphics already applied to them. So I can preview a title that I want and click on apply. Now we have this full tile animation with accent graphics applied and we can go into this composition and we can find our title and easily change it out. And we can easily change our color however we see fit and change other parameters really quick just to fit our current title. So within a few clicks of a button, you're able to bring your title animations in, change your colors, change out your titles and have a full piece of work done within a few clicks. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack along with other of our other packs on our website, you can check our links below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So if you want to watch more tutorials on creating abstract techniques, we have a handful on our channel. I'll link a few below. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. And always, be creative.